on the back here, I've got some windows. So that uh, looks a little bit nicer. But I think, it, like, the back end definitely looks a whole lot little better here. On just in this little bottom portion here now. Hey everybody, welcome back to the NID. So in today's episode, we are going to do some work on this rover. The plan is that I need to get in and out of this machine without using my jetpack. That's my goal, and that's what we're going to accomplish in this episode. So first off, I want to thank um, Drills007 for an awesome idea that he gave me about... Uh, I've got these pistons right here, right? And uh, they are... They would be perfect. I could lower them down and then use the bottoms of them to... You know, when I collect stuff and then put it in there into the, and convey up the tops into the conveyor system. Uh, the only problem with that, though, is that I've gone ahead and put these landing gears on the bottom of all of them, so I don't have access to that anymore. Um, I have an idea about maybe basically putting, like, a cargo container access, like, right in here underneath, so I can just kind of go up and, you know, drop stuff in that way. Thanks to Drills007 for that idea, because that's what made me think of actually just, you know, making a, an underbelly access that I don't have to get up into. I think that's a great idea. I can even make my, like, my holes into the, the mining holes that I've been making. Right underneath, I can just park the rover right underneath and then come back up, go bloop, 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 and then away we go. But what we really want to get at today is I need to be able to get onto this stupid thing without having to get up all the time. So I've got a design. I've actually designed out this entire rover now and we're going to be working our way through finishing it off and I think you guys are going to like it when it's then. So, so I want to have the access in the back here. We're going to build that up first and if there's more if there is more time we'll do some more stuff but uh, that's my goal. So to get started with that, we've added a new mod to the server, and I, I love this mod. Ramp, I think. Here it is. Here she be. So we've got this this mod here, uh, the boarding ramp. I'll put a link for this uh, in the description as well. But it's it's really cool. So we'll we'll get this in here, and I'll show you how it works, and then how I plan to use it so that we can get up into the ship like so, and then walk on in, right? All right, so I'm going to get started on that while I talk to you guys about a couple of other things. I want to thank all of you guys who have been commenting uh, in the comments for the last four episodes of this series. There's been lots and lots of love and lots of comments. Um, and I've really appreciated them and I make a point of uh, commenting and replying, or so should I say, replying to all of your guys' comments. I really enjoy them and there's been some really fun comments in there some like little like some fun banter and some fun things going on and and it, it just makes me laugh makes me smile so thank you so much for uh for for, for doing that with me I, I love it i love it to pieces and so please please keep doing that there's also been a few comments of people saying that they really like the the format for this series so doing like a, a group format and then also a solo one and kind of doing them back to back kind of going you know getting both kind of perspectives and i've, I've been really enjoying do the, doing those myself so i'm glad that that's resonating with you guys that's awesome uh there's also been uh some comments too about about the fact that we've got you know we're, we're working on planets and we've got some people in space and you know the group dynamic that's going on is, is being well received so that's super cool I'm, I'm really glad that you guys are having having fun with that there is also a couple of, of fun and interesting comments uh, in relation to Apple and Llama's song that I featured uh, during the episode and then also at the end for the end card of uh, episode two, I think it was. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> that was that was fun to to watch that happen. Um, people, some people were, were, you know, quite surprised by that song. I thought it was hilarious and awesome, which is why I featured it. So thanks again to Apple and Llama for that, for doing that wonderful song. Um, I, I still listen to it and it makes me laugh. So that's awesome. Uh, we also, um, so Drills, uh, Drills007 was talking about the, the conveyor axis, the ship that I mentioned before, but he also mentioned that it would be really cool if we could do some like, like almost like a battle PvP or some kind of a battle arena or some, you know, basically between the, the players on the server at some point. 
we talked about doing in season two, but you know, due to the problems with space engineers at the time and the sim speeds and all those things, uh, things are seem to be a lot better now in, in this latest season. We, we have been thinking about doing uh, that kind of a thing. So we're not exactly sure what the format might be, but we are talking about it. Maybe it'll be like a specific area that we'll go and do that in, or maybe we'll try and do it more organically or, you know, and when I say organically, it'll be planned organicness <laughs> where like, let's say we notice that like, you know, things are happening in the game and some pretend rivalries are kind of going between the two different groups or maybe between people in the groups and we can, you know, have that for a story-based reason to start some kind of a, um, a fight between the groups and then of course stage that in some way. Uh, it'll it'll be, you know, it won't be, the, the combat won't be staged, but maybe the setup might be staged. So, but I think that would be really fun to do. So awesome, thank you for that, for that suggestion. I think that that's probably something that we will do in the future. Uh, Drills is also mentioning that um, I should obviously finish the rover, which is definitely my plan, but he was he was thinking that it, it would be um, interesting to turn it into a mobile base, which is exactly what it is for me right now and will continue to be for me, but maybe like a mobile base for the ground pounders so that we could actually uh, not actually settle down somewhere, but just kind of roll around the planet going from resource uh, extraction point to resource extraction point and getting what we need and just kind of keeping on moving. Um, I thought that's kind of a cool idea. That's definitely uh, something that I'll mention with the, to the rest of the ground pounders and see what they think of that. But it's going to take me a long time, I think, to get to them anyway. So uh, what my plans are right now is to kind of to definitely pull off that idea. But as I need things, as I as I have to design new things and new ships, like obviously at some point I'm going to need to make myself a mining rig um, and amongst other things. And I want my moving platform to be able to uh you know carry and convoy all of the things that i ever make so in the beginning here my plan is to try and put some stuff like in and on and around the the rover like have the rover just carry it but i might actually need at some point to make um you know trailer systems and stuff of that nature we'll see depends how much stuff that uh, i end up uh building but i think it'd be kind of funny to roll over the mountain when I finally make it to Apple and Minty and Nordic and, you know, the rest of the guys over there on that side of the planet. And there's just like a freaking entourage, <laughs> entourage of stuff coming over the mountain, following me behind. It'd be pretty funny. So thanks again for that. I also got, uh, is it Pigs and Chickens Extra? <laughs> AB was um, uh, sell asking me if I could rebuild the TARDIS. That definitely sounds like a, uh, a useful and awesome endeavor that I might uh, get back around to at some point in the future on this server. And the last uh, comment highlight that I want to to mention here was from Elemental Blaze seventy nine, uh, who who was discussing my wheel setup. Um, I did get a couple of uh, comments as well from from others uh, that uh, they thought my that my rover setup was actually pretty good and the settings that I was using were pretty awesome. So thank you for that. I did a lot of work actually trying to figure out what is a good rover. So uh, it's kind of cool that other people thought that I did I did all right. So thanks, thank you for that. Uh, but Elemental Blaze 79 was saying uh, that he uses a different kind of wheel combo than I do. He uses the front two wheels and the middle two wheels uh, are the ones that steer and the rear ones don't steer. But he has the middle wheels like half the, the steering radius of the front wheels and that actually allows you to uh, turn at speed. And that's not something I knew about, so thank you for that. I did try it out a little bit um, in my creative world and it does seem to work. So what I'm thinking is I could actually set up like a dual mode where um, I use maybe the front two sets of wheels when I'm actually driving at speed and that allows me to turn and not flip, right? Whereas when I am like going very slowly, but I'm trying to make a, a really sharp turn, then I would use the front two wheels and the rear two wheels in concert. Um, and that gives me a really high turning arc. You never want to do that at speed though, because you will flip. Um, but awesome, thank you very much for that Elemental Blaze. I will definitely set that up and give that a try in this rover in, uh, as we cross this world as well. So I somehow lost the footage that was supposed to go in um, between this and what you guys just saw, where I actually demoed the, the ramp to you and, and talked about how it all works and everything. So I'm really sorry about that. Basically what I was explaining in there though is that the, so the rover is actually quite tall, right? And uh, when the ramp goes down, it won't, it won't actually get to the ground. So my workaround for that and my plan for that is actually going to be to lower the height of the wheel offset so that 
when I'm parked, uh, I will lower the vehicle closer to the ground so that, as you can see here, um, I didn't quite lower it good enough there, but, um, but I'll lower it so that it actually comes down flush with the ground. My plan for that, though, is, is that I'm going to use like a timer and a button uh, so that I can actually set this stuff up to work all well together, right? So when you so you hit a button, it lowers the vehicle down to the appropriate height or standard height. And if I need to do more, you know, nitty gritty as I can, um, and then allows you to lower down the uh, the door and then bring it back up. And I'm also thinking it might be a good idea to actually incorporate the landing gear into that as well. So you lower the vehicle down, you drop the pistons, you lock the landing gear to the ground so it's, you know, stable and it won't roll away on you. And then you lower the, the ramp there and away you go, right? And then the reverse would be true when you go back up. Uh, so yeah, pull it all back up and everything. So because of that though, this video is gonna be quite a bit shorter than I planned and expected. So I really am uh, sorry for that. Uh, and we will definitely do a lot more in the next video, a lot more progress. But anyhow, uh, at this point, I'm going to uh, you know pass back over to old me and uh, we'll continue on from where we left off. Okay, so I haven't done a whole lot more. Um, on the back here, I've got some windows that uh, looks a little bit nicer, but I think like the back end definitely looks a whole lot little better here on just in this little bottom portion here now. Um, there's going to be a whole new door going up up on top of that as well, which is going to be a pretty neat design. So we can open this back up. I didn't lower it down anymore, but yeah, you guys get the idea. I would, and I'll, and I'll figure out what those settings are. Um, I wanted to show you guys something that's been getting in the way of progress. So I did a lot of design of this in a you know, a version, a copy of this offline, um, or like an offline version of this. Um, but you're gonna notice like, okay, so watch this, like I'm standing down here. Oh, now it's not doing it, now it's... Okay, so there is like some serious like server desync and stuff that I've been dealing with. Um, right now it seems to be working just perfectly. <laughs> of course. Uh, but like when I would get down into this area here and I try and fly, I couldn't get up. Um, and when I was trying to like fly out of here, it wouldn't let me above this here. And I couldn't even fly up out of here at all. letting me know yeah uh, but yeah like I couldn't actually get when I say fly obviously I'm jetpack but um, I couldn't get out of here at all um, oh I also flipped this around so it's facing this way instead of up because I'm gonna need um, to put a roof on this eventually <laughs> And, and the whole ship just like, and it seems to like come and go or the whole rover just shakes like crazy. Um, so that's a little bit nerve wracking. Uh, this is uh, one of many projects. So we're gonna finish this or this, this project is now finished, but um, there's a door that needs to go on the back of here. Uh, there's obviously the encasing of this entire thing and the move removal and or not remo I guess removal and then moving of all of this stuff to different locations uh, Encasing the entire ship and then finishing the, the front cockpit area and I have a really neat design for um, a glass front cockpit So that's what you see in here is the um, these holes that I like I've done some body work on the front I don't think I showed you that so I, I definitely did a bunch of body work on the front of this as well And so there's gonna be glass and then a glass like encased front um, that'll all nicely and seamlessly kind of go into the rest of the body all the way down to the back and then to the um, uh, To the to the door the actual like uh, hangar door on the back 
uh, as well. So that, I, th I think it's going to come together really nicely when it's all said and done. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave me a like. It does help me out a lot. Um, uh, leave me a comment in the comments if there's anything that you think that I should do, uh, something more to be, to be done, uh, or whatever. Any suggestions at all, I would love to hear them. Uh, and subscribe if you haven't. Uh, there's lots more content coming, and I'm back into, uh, into Space Engineers now. I'm having a blast. Uh, even with the small little issues that are going on, it's great. Um, and so I plan to do a lot more of this and other stuff as well on my channel. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the very next one.